All right, Babalos Rex here. In today's video, we're talking about Noble Garden because it starts today. And this isn't April Fools. Nothing about this video is April Fools. Later today, I don't know what's gonna be happening, but listen up, this is important. Okay, like legit. Noble Garden Springs to Life. See, this was posted the 31st. This video was filmed the 31st. This is serious. Noble Garden Springs to Life this week. Noble Garden Springs to Life from the 1st of April through the 8th of April. Sport your bunny ears and hop to it by hunting for eggs. Eating delectable chocolate and collecting toys, pets, etc. They didn't say mount. They don't want you to get the mount. Oh my god, it is a conspiracy. I'll, I'll, you'll see why later. The Great Feast of Noble Garden has long been celebrated by the races of, of the Alliance and recently adopted by those of the Horde. During this joyous event, it is customary for the nobles and the lords of each race to hide coins, candy, and the occasional treasures within special eggs painted to look like wildfires. Flowers. These eggs are then scattered around major citizens for the citizenry to find. Wait, so this is... Hold up. They... Okay, this may... Okay. As a lore person, I did not know this. I should have known this. This is legit it. Rich people hide eggs in candy. Pause. Collect the eggs. Why is the Horde starting to do it now? The Horde like, hold up. Why don't you just make the rich pay some taxes? Hold up. Hold the fuck up. I, that's the Lord, noble guard. Oh my God, it's right there, the nobleman. Give the peasants some eggs and candy and treats. Make them look for it though, don't give it to them. Hide it. Make them compete. Yo, what the fuck? Okay. Now, okay, let's unlore. Let's get back to it. When? The 1st through the 8th. So it starts today. Listen up, it starts today. That's why this is important. Visit Azure Watch, Dolinar, Goldshire, Coranos, Brill, Razor Hill, Bloodhoof Village, Falconry Square, or Valdraken to join in the festivities. Currency. Noble Garden chocolates are used as currency during this holiday to purchase garments, mounts, pets, and other special rewards. These can be collected by completing quests and opening the eggs found in the event areas. Run around an area, collect eggs. If you don't know how Noble Garden works, ask me for a guide. I'll make it. But it's pretty simple. You run around an area, collect eggs. You use chocolates to buy stuff. All right, but here's the main thing. Listen, there's going to be a main thing I'm going to tell you to do. But these are for all the goodies. If you're, if you're pretty much caught up, you may not have much to get. But that's what we're getting. New this year. Valdraken is decked out in noble garbage festiveness. And a, and the quest, a tisket, a tasket, a noble garden basket, and the great egg hunt are now available. Defend against disruptive ducks. Furious ducks led by the druid Dayton Swift Plume. Disrupt the Noble Garden festivities in Goldshire and Razor Hill. Discover Dayton's hideout and scare off the disruptive ducks to start What the Duck quest. Seek out Zinnia Brooks in Goldshire or Sylvanaria Fair Flame in Razor Hill. Like a big old duck. Find a giant golden egg that appears in the area and drag it to Dayton's nest to summon him. Defeat Dayton daily for a chance at some desirable rewards. This says daily. So they do in that daily bonus from what it seems. Whether or not you approve or not of it, that's why I'm telling y'all. Um, it does seem that way. But that does say daily. Okay, it's probably gonna have the daily bonus once per account. I don't know for certain. I'm going to be running this on multiple characters because I need the mount. Um, I just hope the drop chance is decent and persistent because I actually prefer using alts 
to try for this if you really want it for the people who really want it i i like the daily bonus as a thing but it shouldn't be the only way to get something we don't know if it's the only way but that's why i'm telling y'all at least do it once a day at least once a day during the event Spring Lovelers, Turquoise, Attile, Transmog Pieces, Sun Hat, Pants, Dress, Boot, and Belt. Look at that. Looking festive. The following fresh rewards can also be acquired during the season Noble Garden festivities. The lovely Duckling Battle Pet can be obtained from the Noble Garden Alliance Vendor and Horde Merchant. Why does the Alliance got a Vendor and the Horde a Merchant? What is this? What is this? Okay, so duck pet from the vendor. So that's gonna cost chocolate. And there's some new quests, so maybe you'll get enough chocolate for it if you've already got everything. Otherwise, if you're new to this event, you got chocolate to get. After completing the yearly quest line, what the duck received the duck disguiser toy as a quest reward. Okay, so this is the new quest line for the year. And this gets you the Duck Disguiser Tour. Oh, you get to turn into a duck. Alright. Daily quest. The Great Egg Hunt rewards you with money, a small amount of experience, and a blossoming branch in exchange for brightly colored uh, shell fragments gathered during your travels. Egg Hunt. Search around as your watch. Dolinar, Goldshark, Kronos, Pearl, Razor, Old Blood of. Falcon Wing Square for these mostly well hidden brightly colored eggs. My go to is Falcon Wing. It's literally a nice little circle. It's such the nicest little circle you can imagine, Falcon Wing Square. I mean, it may almost be close to an actual square that you make. Well hidden brightly colored eggs. To help you get them more quickly, you'll want to purchase an egg basket from the Noble Garden Merchant and vendors to increase your speed and beat the competition. It's shared. You're, they're not stealing from you. Once the first person gets it, it does go away after some time, but it, it, you're not stealing it. I can click it and then someone else can click it right after. Brightly colored eggs will often contain delicious chocolate you can eat or use. Uh, that's how it worked last year. Used to purchase items from the Noble Garden merchants and vendors including toys, costume, and mounts. These eggs can also contain a variety of special items. There are other mounts to get. Here are some of the items you can either find in brightly colored eggs or purchase from vendors with Noble Garden chocolates. New, a Drake's big basket of eggs. This toy equips your dragon riding Drake with a festive basket of eggs while they fly through the Dragon Hall Sky. N toy, Noble Gardener's Hearthstone. Appearance, Blue Strings. Brew, blue spring circlet, brown spring circlet, yellow spring circlet, mounts with spring spr strider, pets, mystical spring bouquet, spring rabbit's foot, noble garden bunny. Again, these are a lot of old rewards. Costumes and fun items, festival garments, blossoming branch, egg basket, spring flowers, noble garden egg, consumable. Mages can uh, purchase the tome of polymorph rabbit in exchange for 100 noble garden chocolates. Noble Garden Finery, show off your style by stripping your stuff through town while wearing some of the great Noble Garden Fineries. These can either be found with brightly colored eggs or purchased from the merchants or vendors. Achievement, completing eight Noble Garden achievements will reward the title The Noble and count towards What a Long Strange Trip. Meta Achievement, I'm glad they're going through all this for new people in this post. The Great Feast of Noble Garden is also celebrated in WoW Classic from April 9th through the 15th to join the celebration visit, visit the alliance and horse starting areas also tighten your bunny ears and get hopping to complete noble garden activities to get noble garden meta achievement for what a long strange trip in classic i wonder if it's still competitive in classic because it used to be competitive competitive egg hunting so that's it so that's it we got ducks duck toy duck pet outfit carpet I'm going to be farming this daily. Hopefully I can get this stuff. Hopefully you can get all the stuff you want. Here, let's bring it up in the game. Here we go, Noble Garden. One week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven resets. Because it, res it resets with... 
it, it, it ends with reset from what I'm seeing here. So, seven chances, or maybe more. I'm gonna be running alts, it's, it's not confirmed. I wish they would either say, you can only get this from the bonus, or you can get this from the boss if you run it on alts. It's just, we're in this weird dynamic with that, you know? And real quick opinion, uh, and I've seen Chatter say this, it, it may be better to just have a good bad luck protection to where if you do it every day, you get it at the end. And then in my opinion, you can have mounts work like that. So say I'm here for Noble Garden this year, I do it every day, I get my mount guaranteed, could get it early but i get it guaranteed by the last day next year comes around we get a new mount and then you work to earn that and new people can come in and get the old one too i think it's a win-win for everybody as long as we're getting a new mount every time you know with stuff like the, the the singular mount people will be like oh well you can just get it next time well if we're always getting new mounts then it's nice you show up for that one you get that one you show up for 2024, you get the 2024 mount. You show up in 2025, you get the 2025 mount. And new people can go to try to get the 2024 mount or earn it. I think that's great, personally. But that's it. Go for your carpets. Do the daily. Do the boss daily. What the duck? I think that's the daily. But yeah, get your new quest done, get the, the duck slain, go for your carpet, and uh, hopefully we all got it by the end of the event. Thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.